All right, we're back here. And let's say now, instead of a 3x3 three three or a 2x2, two two, we actually have a 4x4 four four that we're trying to solve. It's so heinous it won't even fit on the screen. So the details aren't that important. What I'm going to be focusing on and typing in is all the coefficients as well as the right-hand side. And I'm going to show you what I think is the quickest way um, on the prime and on other calculators for that matter. The problem is that the linear solver here only offers 2 by 2 and 3 by 3. There is no 4 by 4 and so on. So what you do, hit escape and you're going to type in the matrix. So I'm going to hit my this function key here, let it know that I'm doing a matrix and then I got to fill out my values. This could take a minute here. I have not figured out a great way. If you hit enter it just gives you an error so I'm having to use this click or the whatever you call it d-pad thing uh, so go over and you just put the cursor on that plus minus and it'll keep adding so this is my coefficients for the first row but then on the right hand side of my equation it was all equal to 42 so just to show you that again so 9 8 9 2 and 42 9 8 9 2 and 42 so I'm going to do that for all the lines this will take a minute I apologize for the slowness to, I'm not smart enough to know how to fast forward through this like some of you more sophisticated YouTubers. Maybe someday. Maybe you can make a video and show me how. Six, four, three, six, equal to 53. And then my last line, eight, two, five, six and 63. So I've got the coefficients and then I have the right hand side. What's interesting here is it's only four rows but it's five columns. That's how these work. Now hit enter so it puts it on the stack. What you want to do is hit this little I don't know what it is toolbox I guess key. It brings up you have all these different menus you can go into. The quickest way to get there is go under math go down to matrix you can either type 7 or use the the wheel I'm just gonna hit 7 brings it up and then you want to go to that R ref which stands for reduced uh, I guess it's reduced row echelon form I'm not hundred percent sure of that but I think that's right so hit 3 I'll just do it to make it more obvious I do not want that how dare it let's do it this way matrix R ref hit enter I need to the cursor is where it needs to be I'm just gonna tap my matrix twice and it'll put it in there and I hit enter and that is gonna give my answer so what it says the way you interpret this is it's saying the first variable which was W is equal to 1 the X value is equal to negative 1 the Y value is equal to 3 and the Z value is equal to 7 that's how you interpret that if it was nasty and you know you had lots of decimals and whatever and you want to be able to view that better you tap that once and hit show right here the soft key and you can scroll around and look at that um, and so in other words your answers are on the the rightmost number the last column and they go in order of the variables from left to right hopefully that's helpful you can I don't know what the limit is I'm I'm thinking it can go way up there and in my, um, what I've run into is you're not going to get much over probably six by six, if that. All right, later.